Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to knit the basket weave stitch pattern. <laughs> For this pattern, you're going to need to know how to knit, purl, and cast on. If you need help with that, you can check down in the description below for my videos on how to do those stitches and techniques. So to get started, you want to cast on multiples of eight plus three. And for row one, you are going to knit each stitch. Row two, we are going to turn our work and we are going to start off by knitting four and then we will purl three. Then the repeat for this row is going to be knitting five and then purling three. You will repeat this all the way until your last four stitches. Once you've reached your last four stitches, you will knit your last four stitches. So just finishing off our last knits, we are going to turn our work and we're going to start on row three. So for row three, you're going to start off by purling four. Then you will knit three. And then your repeat for this row is going to be purling five and knitting three. You'll repeat this all the way to the end of the row until your last four stitches. Your last four stitches for this project row is going to be purling four. So here we are just finishing off row three. You can kind of see how the pattern's turning out. So now for row four, we are going to start off by knitting four then we will purl three. Then you will do a repeat of knitting five and purling three, and you'll repeat that all the way until your last four stitches. Your last four stitches will be four knits. So for row five, we are just going to knit every single stitch all the way until the end of the row. Row six, we're going to turn our work and we're going to start off by purling three. And then the repeat for this row is going to be knitting five and purling three. And you'll repeat that all the way until the end of the work, working row. <laughs> So finishing off row six, we're going to turn our work and start row seven. For row seven, you're going to start off by knitting three, and then you'll jump straight into the repeat, which the repeat is going to be purling five, and then knitting three. You'll repeat this all the way until the end of the row. So here we are on row eight. Row eight, you're gonna start off by purling three, and then you'll jump into a repeat of knitting five, and then purling three, and you'll repeat that all the way until the end of the row. And then to continue on, you will repeat rows one through eight until you get the desired size of your project. This is actually quite an easy project to do, and it is a lot of fun. And there you have it. That's how you do the basket weave knit stitch pattern. If you found this video helpful, please do give it a like, and I look forward to seeing you in the next knitting video. Have a happy knitting day.